CRISPR screen dropout screens provide researchers with a simple, efficient, and inexpensive method to interrogate gene function on a genome-wide level. The advantage of CRISPR is its pliability to edit any gene by simply changing the guide sequence. CRISPR guide libraries enable researchers to interrogate the entire genome of any organism in one experiment in an unbiased, systematic way. Currently, CRISPR screens are being used to identify essential genes across hundreds of human cancers and to map genetic interactions. Screens can also comprehensively profile drugs to reveal drug mechanisms of action. The CRISPR libraries described here target human cells. However, guide libraries targeting other species such as mouse are available and can be screened similarly. Performing genome-wide screens in human cells can be daunting in practice, as it involves the handling of tens of millions in cells and requires analysis of large sets of data. Before starting a screen, ensure cell lines are carefully characterized. This includes knowing the poiety of your cell line, doubling time, lentivirus transduction efficiencies, and sensitivities to antibiotic selection agents. A visual demonstration will provide a picture of how to practically handle the millions of cells required in a screen that keep track of thousands of perturbations in a systematic manner. Demonstrating the procedure will be Andrea Habsid, Kamaldeep Alec, and Ryan Klimy, all technicians from my laboratory. Begin by transforming the ready-made CRISPR sgRNA plasmid into electrocompetent cells and growing them according to manuscript directions. When ready to harvest the colonies, add 7 milliliters of LB with carbonicillin to each plate and scrape the colonies off with a cell spreader. Use a 10 milliliter pipette to transfer the scraped cells into a sterile 1 liter conical.